That's pretty much the only reason you got to smile for the game, which was largely terrible. But Bruno Fernandes, Jesse Lingard, 2-0 United back in the Champions League. And what a major, major moment that is for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as manager. Because there's been so much progression this season. Players coming in, players improving. Martial getting 17 Premier League goals. Rashford getting 17 Premier League goals. 70 between Greenwood, Rashford and Martial. Bruno Fernandes coming in. But all the good work would have been undone with the wrong result there against Leicester. And for large parts of the game, it looked like that was going to happen. But it did not happen. Man United are back in the Champions League next season. Drop a like on the video. Come on. Happy days. It's such a huge moment because had that not happened, I would have just sucked all the momentum out of all the good work that Solskjaer, I think, has been doing at United overall. You know, I questioned him in January. I really did, as everybody did. But Bruno changed it. But Back in the Champions League, man, and that was a horrible, horrible game to watch. Leicester largely controlling a lot of it. Man United not controlling much of it. Matic, bit weird for a lot of parts of the game, but who cares? Back in the Champions League. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And quickly, I want to say this video is sponsored by OneFootball. What a video to sponsor by you guys. Make sure you head over there. There's a link in the description to download the app. You can go over there and check out all the post-match stats. Looking at Bruno's cool penalty. Jesse Lingard scoring with the last kick, really, of the game. Who made the most tackles? Anyway, all that is over on the OneFootball app. The link is in the description. But United, look, that won't be a game... In terms of the performance that we're all going to fondly remember, are we? Really? Man United were poor. Cannot seem to pass the ball out from the back. I don't know what we're doing, but it seems like we invite pressure on ourselves. Harry Maguire getting the early yellow card and he was tetchy the whole game. Luckily for him, Victor Lindelof brought his A game today. Probably Man United's man of the match, I would say. Or maybe a give it for Bruno for just scoring the penalty. But Bruno, wow. He really was poor today. I was, uh, in my head, I was saying, look, just take him off for Fred. He's clearly got no legs. Get some energy in midfield. Solskjaer didn't. Solskjaer kept him on. And I was glad when we got that penalty, which was a penalty. Thank you very much, Agent Johnny Evans. Coming in with a penalty. Coming in with a yellow card. Bit far with the old red card there, but you have to make it, you know, convincing so they don't think that we dropped you there for a reason. So I see what you're doing there, Johnny. But United, back in the Champions League. That is the headline. That is the story. <sighs> They're the sorts of pressure moments that you want United to be involved in, where so much is on the line and we come and deliver. And I didn't think, you know, in the games that we had building up to that, what was it? I can't remember who the crap games were. Chelsea, was it West Ham as well? <sighs> United, Southampton. Those games where United had the opportunities to take the advantage in, in the race for the top four, but didn't take advantage of it. Today was the biggest of pressure moments. A game where there was no ability to recover from it because it's the last game of the season. And United did it. The Bruno penalty, it was a penalty. It's a definite penalty. Christ almighty, he's cool at penalties. Little hop and a skip. Bottom left, Kasper Smichael, who is very good at saving penalties, had no chance. And then it, it's hilarious to see Lingard scoring there right at the end with his terrible haircut. Fair play, Lucid. <laughs> Was that his first goal of the season? I don't think he scored all season. I don't even care. I don't care about too much criticism from individual performances, from individual players and things we could have done right, things we could have done better, things Solskjaer could have done. I don't give a crap. The season in the Premier League has ended and Manchester United have finished third behind Liverpool and City, who are so far ahead of us. That that is the furthest, Gary Neville said it in his commentary, the furthest this United team can go in the Premier League with this squad under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. By doing that today, let's see what happens in the Europa League. That will be a bonus. But the main priority this season was getting back in the Champions League next year because that's what you need to attract certain players. I thought it would be very important for Jadon Sancho. Big tick with that one there. But it's just a sign of progression. If this squad is going to progress Anywhere next season, we need Jaden Sancho. We need another central midfielder. I'd probably argue we need a new centre-back. There's key signings that have to be made to strengthen in, in areas of this squad that are weak. We've got a good starting eleven, but past that, the strength is not there to compete with Liverpool and City, which has to be our ambition next season. 
The ambition for United is never to get into the top four and get into the Champions League, but it's about taking steps. And that step today, getting that result against Leicester, was a huge step. I'd argue that was the biggest single match post-Fergie. We've had the Europa League final with Mourinho, and that was huge. And it was, it was wonderful to win the trophy that we'd never won before. We've had FA Cup finals and League Cup finals. But this match here, we've gone down a path with Solskjaer where so many people laughed at us. And so many people thought it was destined for failure. But this season, we've seen so much progression, progression sorry, in the United way that losing that game today would have been such a sucker blow, a sucker punch in the gut of what Solskjaer has been doing and, and the good work that had been done. But now we can build on it, get the right signings in, take the squad further up next season. Let's see what happens. But United are back in the Champions League. You've got to be happy about that. I clearly am. I can't stop smiling. As I said, thank you very much, OneFootball, for sponsoring this video. There is a link in the description to download the app. You can check out all the post-match stats and everything you need on there. But United are back in the Champions League. Not sure if I mentioned it, but United are back in the Champions League.